Yo, what's going on guys? This is AZ here and today I've got a pretty 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 amazing news for you and that's about the rise of the Tomb Raider. So I was just testing out some game files when the new patch came out 610.1 and I was just updating the game and I just accidentally updated the game to the new version without recording the previous versions uh, gameplay first. I just needed it for the comparison but I accidentally up updated it to the new one. So I had to download the files from the torrent and what I ended up doing was getting the files from the torrent that were actually changed into the new patch. So as you can see I have this game files in the properties we go here and we have here details 610.1. So what I ended up doing was actually getting the files for the 604.2 update and I got those files and when I overrid the files here in the Tomb Raider Steam apps folder, what I ended up getting was actually, let me show you, new, here we have Rise of Tomb Raider. So these are the full files that were actually changed into the new version. And I, when I copy and paste these files into the new Rise of the Tomb Raider, I've actually backed up these files uh, in the other folder, so I'm not worried. So we're gonna replace the files and let's see what happens. Okay, I just replaced the file with the previous version files, so now we're gonna run this. Yeah, so guys, here you go. I got an option to enable TX12. I don't know what it is, when I click this option, I just end up closing the game. I don't know if it's intended for people to just, uh, for testing purposes, because I opted into the Rise of Tomb Raider's beta program into the Steam. So I don't know if it's intended for that, but when you go into the properties and you go into details, you see that it's the previous version, 1.0.604.2. So if I run the game in this version, which happens if I click on, uh, let's just stick it. Okay, if I click on the monitor, the game will actually run. If I click on the exclusive full screen, I will go into this option. And what is this? I don't understand. There is a TXAA 2X option, which is not uh, for the AMD GPUs. And as you guys know that I have the R9 280X GPU. So why am I getting this option? I don't know. I think it's messed up right now. This proves that there is going to be a DX12 support in the game in the coming future. Means of a button, you will be able to enable DX12 in the game. So yeah, this was kind of a news for you so that you can get to know that there is going to be full DX12 support in, in Rise of the Tomb Raider and you're going to be happy with it. So if you like these kind of game videos, just give it a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up and make this video come on the top of the list. And I'm going out. Love you all. Peace.